Osoby z długim nosem na Filipinach na pewno będą dla nich bardziej atrakcyjne. To też, słuchajcie, może się wydawać śmieszne. I oczywiście... It's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Cześć wszystkim, słuchajcie, dzisiaj zrobimy odcinek trochę inny w związku z tym, że jest pora deszczowa i praktycznie od tygodnia non stop pada deszcz, teraz akurat nie pada, ale jest bardzo pochmurnie, to zrobimy odcinek, w którym zareagujemy do odcinka mojego kolegi, który mieszka na innej wyspie, zrobił myślę ciekawy odcinek, nigdy nie robiłem takiej reakcji, zrobię ją z I Jane, moją żoną, Filipinką i będziemy reagować na film który nagrał nasz kolega, mój kolega, przepraszam, powtarzam się. Nie wiem, jaki jest tytuł po polsku, ale po angielsku jest Filipina will love you. How Filipino women see us. Czyli podejrzewam, że będzie to yy, monolog na temat tego, jak postrzegają nas Filipinki. Nie podejrzewam, no bo na pewno tak jest w tytule. Dobra, nieważne, nie róbmy komedii. A może zróbmy komedię, będzie śmiesznie. Śmiech to zdrowie. Ok. So, let's do our... Reaction to this video. There is a subtitle, so my wife also can react to what my friend is talking about. I hope there's gonna be some controversy, so it's more fun. Let's jump to it. Muszę włączyć nagrywanie tego. Wait. Co to znaczy dla Filipińczyka piękna kobieta? Co to znaczy dla Filipinki piękny facet? Co to znaczy dla nas piękna Azjatka? Dzisiaj porozmawiamy o tym pięknie, o tych różnicach kulturowych, o tych różnicach w poznawaniu piękna, poznawaniu drugiej osoby na Filipinach. Nie wiem czy wiecie, ale poznawanie piękna przez różne kraje jest całkowicie inne. Tak jak w Polsce na przykład my mamy zamiłowanie do Azjatek, przynajmniej bardzo dużo wiem, że Europejczyków tak ma. Tak samo um, Azjaci mają zamiłowanie do białych kobiet. This is true. Actually what he is saying here, this is true. I know personally a lot of Polish people and other foreigners who uh, like Asian women and also I know a lot of Filipino men and um, Filipino, sorry, and Asian men who are also attracted to uh, foreigners. Mm. Uh, the thing is that it works for girls from Asia, they are attracted to a foreign men, but it doesn't work for foreign girls mm. usually that's mm. like very rare that a foreign girl from like filipino yeah like filipino men and it's because filipino men is not a macho type it's very friendly it's very smiling and most of the women in um, you know another countries than asia than philippines the stereotype of a man is a strong, macho, serious, goal-oriented man, yeah? Which is usually not Filipino. In a big cities there is Filipino like that, of course, we don't want to generalize. But most of the Filipino men in province, <clears throat> and we are living in province, is not a macho type. Even in the big cities there is, like, Filipino men is just friendly and happy and always smiling, mm -hmm. so it's hard to find someone really serious like a I'm a gangster kind of type which a lot of foreign women like Jakieś 7 lat temu pierwszy raz na Filipinach jak byłem pojechałem na konkurs piękności to to co mnie zszokowało to na sam koniec oczywiście były tam naprawdę chyba było 14 15 kandydatek Połowa tych dziewczyn była naprawdę przecudowna, piękna. To takie piękno, jak nam się po prostu wydaje, czyli naprawdę mm, idealne kształty, wzrost, y, karnacja, taka bardziej ciemniejsza. Let me go first, because I don't agree with Rafał here. I've been on many pageants in Philippines and usually the girls at the pageants are not the kind of beauty that foreign person likes because in a big pageants, in a big cities, the girls are usually half-half mixed, yeah? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, it's not like a typical Filipina beauty. They mm -hmm. are trying to look like foreign girls, yeah? Because they, the judges are Filipino and the Filipino men like a foreign, foreign look. look. Yeah. yeah, that's why the girls are trying mm. to look like a foreigners and that's why they choosing a mixed um, Filipina and foreigner girls, you know, to represent this kind of beauty. So what Rafa is saying, probably it's more in the province that, you know, there is not 
a lot of girls that are from the mixed marriage. That's why. But what about this? He's saying that really perfect shape, height, complexion, so dark. Yeah, the dark the, the the shape and the height of the body. It's it's yeah, perfect. like a typical yeah. model girl. It's true. Just the face. It's you know the girls are usually more white. They are not so dark. Not morena girls, and the shape of a face it's also different because it's from mixed parents. Well, I always see pageant in Philippines, so I didn't know. You didn't know what? That there is like a mix. You didn't know that mm. the, these girls are mixed, but you see that they look different, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> because they are mixed. Usually they are mixed. Okay, let's. Natomiast słuchajcie, największym zdziwieniem tego całego konkursu było to, że moim zdaniem wygrała najbrzydsza dziewczyna, która... I would agree with that because... Yeah, for us, for the foreigners, the beauty type that the Filipino like is not the one that we like. Yeah. And I experienced <coughs> that also, that I was thinking like, why this girl is the winner? She's the ugliest. You can see a lot of pretty girls, more pretty than her on the street and even in this competition, but the ugliest is the winner. But that's how it works here, because the judge is Filipino, not foreigner, so they are looking for their kind of beauty. Mm -hmm. Agree. Agree. Indeed. In sumie, nie była jakaś wysoka. <coughs> nie miała jakichś idealnych kształtów, ale to, co miała, to miała I wyglądała tak, jakby pół życia kąpała się w wybielaczu. Okay, what he said here is true. Filipino people have obsession about the long nose. I've been 100 times asked about my nose. Can I have your nose? Can I have your nose? Oh my god, oh my god, your nose is so beautiful. This is like a crazy obsession here in Philippines about foreigner nose. And even if I would give my long nose to my wife, she would look ridiculous with my nose, but she still won it. And the skin. And the skin, yeah, the white skin, yeah. Another obsession here in the Philippines, the color of your skin. Probably our viewers know about it, so we're not gonna go into a lot of details. But what Rafał is saying here, it's true. Most of these girls who are in the pageants, they are whitening their skin uh, with a whitening products. And fun fact, in Poland and in Europe and in America, it's opposite. Girls yeah. are tanning their skin, <laughs> they want to be darker because it represents freedom to travel, going to, you know, countries and getting tanned, meaning that you are rich because you can afford that. But here in Philippines, if you are darker, you are poor because you yeah. are outside, you are not in the office. If you are white, it means you have a good job. You don't have to be outside. You can be inside of the office. Aircon, white skin, perfect. True? Yeah. <laughs> and if you would like to meet a, you know, girl from Philippines, there is a really good service, Christian Filipina, that I was recommending before. I recommend it again. And obviously, to meet a love of your life, the best way is to meet that girl, person, in person, yeah? Yeah. To do that, you have to come to Philippines and search for love, yeah? Not everyone can do it. That's why, you know, there is a lot of um, dating sites, but the problem there, there is a lot of scams also. Yeah. And there is girls who are using that, um, you know, dating website to make money. They are chatting with 100 foreigners at the same time, selling the story about my grandma is in hospital. I would like to study, but I cannot because I'm poor. My mama is dying and things like that. And they are sending the same messages to, you know, 100 foreigners. And from these 100 foreigners, then there can be two or three that they gonna send money. and. As usual, I'm not saying that this is the most of the cases, this is the least of the cases. For example, 100 girls in dating sites is good, but from this 100, 3 can be bad. And it's 
easy to be scammed because they are creating multiple uh, profiles and trying to scam multiple people at the same time making actually a lot of money on that and that's why Christian Filipina is so good because there is 24 7 staff checking the profiles and making sure that there is no way to you know to scam guys I'm not uh, exaggerating when it comes to scammers because many people send me a message and you know they are asking for help personally i was trying to help one guy who sent a girl more than half million peso because she was promising him that she will marry him she needed you know money for visa money for passport money to go to manila blah 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 he he sent me all the emails all the mm, you know mm, messages that they exchanged all, all the proofs, how much money he sent. I actually tried to help him, but at the end I couldn't. I'm not gonna go into details, but I had few cases like that. So just a word of advice to you guys there. Be careful, you know, be smart about it. Don't send money to a girl that you don't know personally. If a girl is genuine, you know, genuinely, genuinely, if the girl is interested in you for real, she's not gonna ask you for money she just you know gonna be talking with you and hoping that you will meet in person soon and maybe there's gonna be something else but there is also this you know more advanced smart girls that they not gonna ask you for money but they gonna direct the conversation in a way that you will want to send money by yourself because she will ask she will not ask for money but she will say that yeah i'm you know i wish i could have a better education but you know my parents are poor and things like that she's not gonna ask you for money but she's gonna make you feel like okay i want to send her money and that is also usually scam so don't get me wrong because you can find love of your life you know online and i had some good experience with you know dating girls online but i'm experienced here in asia i know what to look for and how to smell something fishy yeah a lot of you guys don't know about it that's why i'm recommending you this um, service christian filipina and also you know it's not easy to find a partner who's gonna represent the same values or religion like you again christian filipina for all you guys who are christian i really recommend that service so basically the link is under the video in the description and really really good service that we both recommend to you and if we gonna help at least one person to find love of your life and avoid being scammed we're gonna be happy, happy. although we are already happy so make sure you check this out <coughs> Więc osoby z długim nosem na Filipinach na pewno będą dla niej bardziej atrakcyjne. To też, słuchajcie, może się wydawać śmieszne. I oczywiście... It's true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It is actually funny, yeah. He said yeah. that it can be funny and it is funny. And, yeah, you wanna say something? Yeah, that's true. That, you know, long nose is more attractive even if it's a Filipino. But there is a limit, yeah, because yeah. we've seen some guys with a really long nose, jak klamka od zakrysty, mój ojciec tak mówił zawsze. Sorry, never mind. And that was already too much, yeah. We were like, okay, this guy is too big nose, yeah. But I've seen personally a lot of cases, like the guy, and I'm not saying this in any negative or judgmental way. It's just pure... Uh, observation guys who are not attractive at all opposite of attractive and they are in a relationship with a really beautiful Filipina and it's not always about the money it's because the Filipina see that person completely different Jeżeli ktoś kocha wysokie kobiety i tylko i wyłącznie takiego pociągają, to raczej e, tutaj nie znajdzie kandydatki na żonę czy dziewczynę. It's true, like most of the Filipina girls it's uh, shorter. Not all are short, but it, like generally they are a bit shorter than European American girls. Yeah. And also guys, Filipino guys, that is another factor 
for Euro European girls that they are not so attracted to Filipino men because many Filipino men is short. And I remember, you know, what you said when we met for the first time, yeah, in, in your village. Mm -hmm. The first <laughs> thing I Jane told me, no, that was, hey, what, what are you, where are you going, blah, 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 never mind. But after a few sentences, she pointed out, I like your height, yeah? Yeah. Because I'm tall compared to most of the <clears throat> Filipino guys, so... <laughs> Sorry about that. Nie wiem jak to powiedzieć po angielsku, to powiem po polsku i tak macie napisy, słuchajcie, słyszę jakiej w brzuchu burczy nagrywamy, to jest około 12, nagrywamy to przed śniadaniem, więc <laughs> słuchaliśmy Rafała i ja słyszę jakiej w brzuchu burczy. We will eat soon. Przeważnie wybiera sobie dużo młodszą kobietę. Dlaczego? No bo jest moim zdaniem i pewnie ich zdaniem dużo bardziej seksowna, więc przeważnie takie dziewczyny no to są od 25 do 35 lat. Ale to też nie jest jakaś, słuchajcie, taka stup... I hope they can hear that. Okay, so yeah, this is another um, yeah, interesting fun fact that most of the girls in Philippines, they are with older foreigners and most of the older they are with the younger with <laughs> older <laughs> foreigners are with a younger woman and it is the, i think there is um, few reasons because of that like rafael said for the guys of course the girl if it's younger it's more sexy it's more pretty when we talk about appearance um, but also most of the guys who are living here in philippines are retired guys yeah the guys who don't have to work i'm talking about 80 percent of the foreigners here uh, other 20 percent is online work or having a business here but it's not many younger guys who can afford to live here and you know they because most of them are working or having a business you know in their own countries so that's one thing that you know for a filipina it's not easy to find a boyfriend <coughs> Or husband in her own age and not a lot to choose from you know when it comes to younger guys też znam takie związki gdzie to jest na przykład starszy pan ze starszą filipinką którzy no są nawet po 50 i są po prostu poznali się tutaj i są razem no. też są takie pary to prawda aczkolwiek jest to rzadkość generalnie jest to yy, różnica wieku pomiędzy no tutaj jest ten margines dosyć spory, bo pomiędzy 10 a nawet 40 lub 50 lat są takie dysproporcje. Yy, moja żona jest ode mnie młodsza o 26 lat. You are, you are uh, younger, 26 years? 26, yeah? Yeah. 26, 25, yeah. 25. I'm 45, so right now it's 25, yeah. But these are mm, difference in age. And usually, as I said, between 10 to even 50 years gap. Bo ta osoba po prostu woli Aha. bardziej, można powiedzieć, osobę, z którą można porozmawiać, a nie tylko i wyłącznie nagrać filmik na TikToku. Not all young girls is nothing to talk about. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a lot to talk about. <laughs> well, doing TikTok, yeah, but probably about 10%. But mostly, you know, giving time with your partner, of course. But we're... <laughs> also... We are doing TikTok the same. <laughs> That's yeah. our vibes. <laughs> yeah, babe, but let's not, you know, get personal here because this is not his, you know, he's, he, he's right about it. There is a lot of younger girls that, you know, they are just not so educated, let's say, and not so experienced in their life. And you don't have so many topics, yeah, than with a woman that is already, you know, have a much uh, bigger experience. And, and it's true. Yeah, I agree. But also there is, a, from every rule, there is an exception, yeah, same here, that there is also, you know, older girls or women that nothing to talk about, yeah? yeah. I experienced <laughs> that also. You can find a Filipina girl that is very young and she's gonna be much smarter than a woman that is older and more experienced and opposite you're gonna find a Filipina girl that is shallow and doing TikTok all day and scrolling Facebook and TikTok on all day and nothing to talk about yeah that is also true Co krajowcy szukają tego naturalnego piękna 
Jeżeli naprawdę szukacie naturalnej kobiety, która wygląda pięknie, bez makijażu, która jest naturalna, po prostu naturalna, a nie sztuczna, tak jak w Europie, no to jak najbardziej Azja, szczególnie mała miejscowość albo nawet mała wioska. The problem with the girls here in Philippines, usually province girls, no, I'm not talking about city girls, but also it happens there, that they don't know how to do a uh, makeup, because in, let's say, foreign countries, when the girl is doing makeup, she is trying to achieve the look that it looks like she is not having a makeup. But here in Philippines, when the girls are doing makeup, they want it to be obvious, yeah? yeah? That's the purpose of makeup that is so different that you can see, okay, she's wearing a makeup. It's completely opposite in Poland. Just a little bit, just so you are more beautiful, but the guy cannot see, okay, it's fake because it's a makeup. That's, that's uh, how they do it. So also a lot of girls here in Philippines don't know how to, how do, to do a makeup. good makeup yeah? yeah and they overdo it a lot and they look sometimes um, funny and grotesque for us Do I look funny if I do makeup Sometimes yeah <laughs> sometimes you look like a gay when you do too much makeup a lot of girls have that in Philippines because usually gays here in Philippines they do a lot of makeup and basically they are doing makeup yeah more than girls yeah and 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 sometimes when the girl is gonna do a makeup she look a little bit like a gay sometimes znaczy tam niesamowite kobiety które są z natury przepiękne a jeżeli oczywiście ona by się jeszcze ładnie ubrała uczesała i cokolwiek zrobiła tak delikatnie ze swoją twarzą no to już w ogóle po prostu by było mistrzostwo świata the Filipina woman is more natural, like Rafał said. I don't know why is that, probably because not so much TV, not so much magazines about girls, what is girl, you know, what the girl should say, what the girl should wear, what the girl should behave like. All this programming from the corporations and from the magazines and from the TV. The brains of a European girls is already here is not. These girls are more simple. Their beauty is more natural. That's why when foreigners coming from other countries and they are just shocked that these girls are so different. And actually, you know, when the Spaniards came here to conquer the Philippines, there was a kind of a syndrome that many Spanish guys did didn't want to go back to Europe because they fell in love with the girls from Philippines because they were so natural, they were so open-minded, they were very interactive. At that time in Europe the aristocracy was wearing, you know, seven levels of clothes, taking shower once a week and being smelly and that's the fact like few hundred years ago and here in Philippines these girls take a shower every day they smell good, they are natural, they are interactive, they are smiling, they are friendly, there is no etiquette. That's why all these Span Spanish soldiers, they were like, okay, I'm not going back, this is like heaven here. The girls are like in heaven. Really? Yeah, really. The, that's, uh, you can Google that, I cannot remember how it's called, but you know, Spanish um, people conquered Philippines syndrome, maybe it's a Magellan syndrome? I cannot remember. Try to find Magellan syndrome about girls and for sure you, you, you can learn about it. It's very interesting. Jeżeli chodzi o szukanie sztuczna, czyli na przykład, nie wiem, no sztucznych cycków, makijażu takiego wymalowanego na siłę, czy chodzenia cały czas na szpilkach, no to pewnie w dużo, w dużo większych miastach na Filipinach to znajdziecie. Natomiast to też nie będzie tak, że to będziecie widzieć te dziewczyny codziennie. No pewnie oczywiście słuchajcie w jakichś drogich klubach nocnych czy w innych rzeczach, ale jeżeli pojedziecie na prowincję, to nie ma czegoś takiego, żeby ktoś tutaj chodził tak ubrany na co dzień. It's true and what I would like to say, I had a visitors, me and my friend had a visitors girls from Bacolod, which is a bigger city in Negros and these girls were wearing makeup and I remember when I went to the Sari Sari store with one of the girl and she was wearing makeup and I remember the reaction of a girl selling from the Sari store when she see that girl, she was looking like that at her, like couldn't believe that she's seeing someone with the makeup. Because it's so rare to, you know, in the province, in a sari store, sari sari store to see a girl with the makeup that like she was like, and then because that was my friend, when I was with her alone, she was asking, is this girl a prostitute? I'm like, no, why? Because she's wearing makeup. I'm like, so what? So 
it's like prostitute, prostitutes wearing makeup. So that is also a belief in the province that if you wear too much makeup or you wear a sexy dress, you must be a prostitute. Yeah, like in my village as well. What about in your village? Yeah, they see if you're wearing sexy, if you're wearing makeup. I have friends that they're going, you know, you know, to Panglao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> really? I didn't know about that. Working girls, you mean? Well, not working, they just, you know, going hunting foreigners. for fun, something like that. And they were in sexiest. Mm. Make up. No, po prostu się tak nie da. No i te dziewczyny też tak nie chodzą, więc naturalne, piękno, jak najbardziej. If you want, you can go to um, Rafał YouTube channel and watch the whole video. He's basically telling everything how, how it is. How it is in Philippines. Yeah. So if you wanna know more about it, just go there. Peace out. Happy.